Welcome to my channel. This is Sam and I'm playing Layers of Fear. When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night. Dear friend, My beloved, I've been thinking about what happened. But I did not connect this thing. Uh, I'm not the job at. Hey there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here, try for yourself. No, no, that, that's not quite right.
there, young lady. Shouldn't you be in bed? It's all right. You can stay. Just don't make too much noise. Daddy's working. What do you mean, who's that? It's Mommy. What? That's not what Mommy looks like? Yeah, the well, alignment is she does to me. Yeah, going. 
inside that room I got right behind it. Nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. And it scares the hell out of me. I was about to say how hideous I am. Go on. I know you want to. God, not that again. I know you're disgusted with me. Admit it. You're right. I am disgusted. But it has nothing to do with the way you look. I'm disgusted with it. what you let it do to you. How you let it change you. Princess, Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. They want to take you away from me. But I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? 
Yes, now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in... I, grasping at the remains of my sanity, All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever... <clears throat> Princess! Keep looking at me! Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. Look at me! And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had under- Do you want this story to have a happy ending or not? witch had unleashed her familiar, the Hellhound. The monster sniffed at the air. Its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. The hag was near, just outside the view, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt the sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there. 
The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait, that's not right. Her face... Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. She was fine the moment she drew her first breath. Do you think I saw that? I lost that in. what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house, a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. sweetie. But why pink? Okay, we completed the inheritance. So we'll do the final note in a single video because we have no, uh, it's already 30 minutes. So I will end this video any further. But I will definitely go out and talk some.
it is always good to hear from one of our writers. Bring him back! I'm afraid it's, it's not possible at the moment. You know where I'm at, sad man? I'm at your precious lighthouse! Yes, I am aware of that. Don't interrupt me! I'm at the lighthouse, and I know how to hurt your precious queen. I know how to break that pact. So either you bring him back, or I'll show you what I can do with words! I will warn you that it is a fruitless endeavor. I don't give a fuck about your warnings! I will destroy her. I will get him back! I will write my own story! Yeah, we already did that. But I think that thing got... did not get saved or something. So we are still unable to go this way. There is something... I think I always loved how broken you are. Despite our previous I always close the doors. Thought you got me? Well guess what? I can write without you. I always could. No man, I'm not doing that anymore. Let's get this over with. So we'll start from this actor story game in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.